Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pedlo, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Tuesday of Easter week with a reading by Henry Nowen. Listen to the church. I know that listening to the church isn't a popular bit of advice at a time and in a country where the church is often seen more as an obstacle in the way than as the way to Jesus. Nevertheless, I'm deeply convinced that the greatest spiritual danger for our times is the separation of Jesus from the church. The church is the body of the Lord. Without Jesus, there can be no church. And without the church, we cannot stay united with Jesus. I've yet to meet anyone who has come closer to Jesus by forsaking the church. To listen to the church is to listen to the Lord of the church. And specifically, this entails taking part in the church's liturgical life, Advent, Christmas, Lent, Easter, Ascension, and Pentecost. These seasons and feasts teach you to know Jesus better and better and unite you more and more intimately with the divine life he offers you in the church. For a scripture reading today, Romans chapter 12, verse 3 through 5. By the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think of yourselves more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. And now for our time together in prayer, if you will, let us now pray together. God of all power, you who left us in the freedom of our own human will, let us dispense with what overfills our life and leaves no room for God and his works. Help us to jettison the idolatry of all that we clutch to so tightly money, family, fame, other people, and so on. Let us roll away the rocks from in front of our own tomb. Let us find a world of new possibilities in your joyful resurrection and in the fullness of your love. Amen. For Easter action today, now is not the time to be dismal. Smile at all those that you meet today. That is our Easter action. Hope to see you all here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a good day today.